Hey, what's going on, everybody? I think I started like a minute early. Maybe. Maybe it was like right on time. I don't know. I was thinking I should start early because holy cow, I feel like there's so much to talk about for this live. Like update stuff, the Q&A stuff. We got a guest coming in. We got a giveaway to do. I mean, there's just so much to cover for this one. Holy cow. And, you know, I got Miss Trouble with me, of course. Hey, Miss Trouble. Hey, everybody. Yeah, she was already uh, keeping tabs on chat, and uh, we'll be doing the usual stuff we say uh, in a few minutes for going over stuff. Yeah, I mean, some people are already asking if I was going to review things. I actually was thinking of doing a video earlier this week, and I didn't have time to. Uh, so I didn't end up doing a video, but yeah, we got all the, the new stuff that they're talking about, the Q&A stuff, the Twitch stuff everybody's asking about. I don't know Twitch that well, so I can't really help you, but holy cow. Yeah, so much to talk about. <laughs> um, so yeah, there's just a lot going on. Um, and I don't even know where to start. Holy cow. I do know that uh, we'll, we'll be doing our giveaway stuff fairly early uh, and try to get through all of that so that we can play some more custom matches and all that kind of stuff like usual. But yeah, man, the, the update stuff that we learned about, interesting stuff going on, right? Um, yeah, I have stuff on the side here. We we got the we got the let me let me get an image up of it. You guys have probably already all seen this image, but we got our new mech here. Uh, this is this I'm. It looks like it's Hadezo, but now they're calling it Tango or Tangu Tango. I don't know. How do you Tengu? say that? Tangu. Yeah, it is a. Yeah, it's got a. You know. Yeah, the I don't actually know what Hadezo means. I was trying to think like what they what they meant by that, but this actually means like it's like a Japanese. Um, type of creature thing that they would do because they do different kind of creature things or like dragons and whatnot. But this is usually like some form of a bird or a bird of prey, which makes sense given its ability called mm. bird of prey. Yeah. So that's what they I were going for. I didn't even know that. that. Yeah, yeah. I was look. I was trying to be all studious and looking this stuff up. <laughs> you know. <Look> at you. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it, it makes sense, right? For for the naming as well as like it is what we thought. There's going to be a light mech. It's going to have that 16. Uh, capacity at its total end um but yeah man look at that hp uh pretty good speed a little bit faster than the uh panther i think it's a little bit slower than some of the other light mechs that are faster but yeah it's got a lot of hp ability cooldown is seven seconds which is more than like what lancer is but that makes sense given the other effects that it has and if you guys don't know that um its ability they're calling it sky strike and when activated um, it'll go in the air, like jump forward and then slams down on the ground and it'll damage enemies as well as like slow them down, like put them in stasis. So it sounds really cool. I like the idea behind this mech. I think, you know, I don't know if that means rip Lancer or if it's like, you know, <laughs> necessarily replacing that or just whatever, but I think it looks really cool. Uh, and the potential of it is really neat, especially with pilots and all that stuff. Like 16 energy can rip through stuff pretty good. I mean, I did my... Thing with shadow where i had dual uh shotgun eights and on this dude like if he hits a group of people with that and is able to just like kill them instantly with the shotguns that's crazy that would be really cool uh so I, it, it seems like he's got potential so i like the idea of him we'll have to see how he plays out i don't have like test server access or anything yet to even try him out you know i learned about this guy when you guys did in terms of the patch notes so i didn't get any like hint hint wink winks early looks at stuff like i have sometimes so you know i'm i'm in the same boat as you all with this but it looks really interesting where we're gonna get nova soon um it looks like two with this and then like they mentioned other stuff of being uh, able to get certain pilots or crates or whatever through events and and different event crate rushes which sounds cool but it really depends on how they do that, right? I mean, if it's in event crate rushes and those are all behind paywalls, it's not really going to provide us too much. I'm hoping what this all means, though, is that there's going to have better access to those resources, like we talked about as being one of the issues in a previous video that I said uh, that we just don't get these resources as free to play um, fast enough. It's at a, like a crawl. So I don't know. I'm hoping this, this will help alleviate some of that. I don't know. We'll see. But, uh, that all sounds interesting. Um, they also did a Q&A that kind of harkened some of that about the pilot marks and implants, which was cool too. The only thing that I didn't like that worried me, I don't know how you read into this, Miss Treble, but at the end of their Q&A, they said like they wanted to mention that, you know, they've taken stuff out of the progress path and it's necessary to balance things out and it's at different stages of development. 
Um, and I can't tell if they're saying like, we're not gonna put stuff in the progress path anymore, or if they need to adjust it to reconfigure the system, but it didn't sound good. <laughs> it didn't sound good. I don't know. What did you think of that? If you don't mind me asking. I, you're probably looking at chat, I'm sorry. But. I am, but, and thank you, Nerea, for the super chat. Oh yeah, again, I'm sorry, awesome. I just said, yeah. Mm -hmm. Thank I just you saw so that much. Too. Nice to see you again, too. Yes, um, thank you so much. Well, it definitely did sound like they were saying, stop asking when we're adding it to the progress <laughs> path, because we're not going to do that anymore. We like the crate events, and we like trying to get people to spend money to get these things. Yeah, yeah. I Is, is what I heard. I um, tend to agree, but yeah, I'm sorry. Go it, ahead. It's very disappointing to me. And their reasoning to say it's not fair to new players didn't really make sense because that's what the progress path is. Like yeah. that's what it's for. And that's it's... the point is you have something to work toward and your mechs just get better and better and it's something to strive for. Exactly. And if new players are getting them early, then it just throws the balance way off. Right, because new players that are spending money are gonna get them early. Why do they have access to it but other people don't? And the idea of people getting it too soon or whenever it comes up, especially doesn't ring true with me when they just jacked up the price on both Panther and Killshot. Like that to me just smells like they're worried about making money from this. And, you know, if you notice too, with all these crate rushes, the event crate rushes that they've been doing, they've changed the way they do it each time. I don't think they've had it done the same time any time. This is this last no. one that they did was very premium based. And I'm wondering if after that, they looked at all the data and thought, we like it this way. And that's why they're making this comment to say, we're not going to put on the progress path. It's going to be all premium based and event crate rushes. So I, I hate saying this, but I think we should expect the event crate rushes to go like the last one that just happened, which to me was the worst. Uh, but that's what I, I'm guessing. And that means that maybe Nova, maybe... Tango, Tengu, however you say it, <laughs> is going to be that same way, which I hate, but I don't know. I mean, that's that's what it seems like to me. Uh, we'll know soon, I think. I, I don't know exactly, again, when the update is coming either. They didn't tell me, uh, but my guess is, like, it, it's going to be before February, so I don't know if that means next week. Uh, it'll probably be next week, right? That's, like, the only, uh, the last full week of this month, so I'm betting sometime next week. Um, that's going like to drop. Like this coming, this coming week in a couple days? Yeah, yeah, like a Monday or Tuesday. I think that's usually when they drop stuff, so that, that'd be my guess, but I don't know for sure. And they usually don't mm -hmm. tell us this kind of information until it's like about to drop. So, uh, you know, that's why I think we're going to be that close. But I was surprised to see that they're dropping a new mech again so soon after we just had Stalker. I thought they would be doing other stuff first or maybe adding like free-for-all mode or something, but... You know, it is what it is for that. Probably so. adding a new mech is easier than a new mode. So maybe, yeah, for like either balancing or matchmaking or other kind of stuff. Maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Interesting but the thought. only time that they ever made it fair for all new players and everyone was when they did the derby dial events where we could all earn it, you know, but yeah. these crate events really there there's no way to really get them unless we can earn tokens yeah um anyway and you technically can in in a very small free-to-play way with this twitch thing that everybody's talking about right that if you happen to be one of the winners you can get 10 event tokens which i have no idea if that's going to be enough for these events that they're doing or if it's going to make much of a difference at all but um that you know that is something everybody's talking about I'll, I'll say I don't know a whole lot about Twitch. So people keep asking me about Twitch because I live stream on YouTube. I do it on YouTube. I don't really know Twitch that well, so I couldn't tell you for sure. Um, yeah, but, actually, yeah. if you guys know Twitch, you might need to tell us how to do it. Yeah, yeah, you Twitch <laughs> expert, experts out there, feel free to uh, message me and let me know how to do stuff. No, I, I, I probably won't do it because I, I, you know, do enough already with this stuff. Um, but, you know, other people might. Uh, little Miss Treble might try her hand at it, she said, but we'll see. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Sounds fun, but yeah. we'll see. All right. Sorry. So, so yes, we have ahead. our guest here. Should I go check in with them while you do the first part of the giveaway? Yeah, you can do that. 
Um, so yeah, uh, Little Miss Trouble is going to check on our, our guest, um, and I'll do the giveaway stuff and probably a quick match in between. So let me do the basics though, before we get into all of that, that we usually do, which is just saying that, you know, uh, again, Miss Treble will be with us and she'll be watching chat, uh, to help you guys with questions, but also to keep an eye on spamming and language. So please neither of those, otherwise she'll have to put you in a timeout. All right. Uh, when we actually do get into the matches, let me tell you this too. Uh, if you want to be a part of them, because we do all custom matches now, anyone is able to join. So if you want to hit the battle button on the bottom, and then uh, if you hit the custom match button there on the bottom corner as well, then you can enter the match ID. I will be saying the match ID and I will be putting it in chat. So you want to try to get that in to get a spot quick um, for when we do those matches. All right. And if you do get in for a match, um, you know, obviously welcome to join us and have fun. But after you do get in a match, uh, please step out so that other people can play. We try to let everybody get one match in for the evening so that everybody has a chance to play. All right. And uh, I know Sentry is around. I saw him already. Our faithful Sentry who's going to be helping us keep an eye on who is here and who's not. And a lot of you help me with that, too. So thank you very much uh, for keeping an eye on who's played already. But all that kind of stuff said, it is a giveaway. So I'm going to be uh, doing the first five people for the giveaway and then we'll probably do another match in between then we'll do the next five and then we'll probably have our guests come on in so let's start with those first five giveaway people all right here we go i'm gonna bring up my video from earlier where we did our first pick here this is numero uno and actually this first one i think was just a comment on the video but because he put the t keyword railgun in there it, it actually tripped it and caught it on this one but this one wasn't our first one but i appreciate the comment um, cause he said he did the same thing where he made a second account. That was a railgun one. And here's our first one. PSG. I'm, I'm car. Om car. Awesome videos. Uh, long arm damage is so good. Yes, it is good. Very nice. Uh, you're winner number one. So I'll quickly peek at you. Two, four, oh, six. All right. Oh, he's got some decent power here. I get mostly new people who, who do stuff, but you got some decent stuff already. Yeah. Uh, got the, the, oh yeah, you were talking about the real gun. I mean the long arm. So there you go. You got that. Um, you got some decent stuff here. Nice. Will be good to boost up that uh, Mr. Rec 12, especially with the new pilot coming. That might be a good one to spend those acorns on. Nice cheetah. I like the skin too. Fun one. The football one's cool. Nice dude. Grass to you. Hopefully you can benefit from those. You probably don't need my help. You probably already know what you're going to do for your hanger. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoops. All right. We'll go back to that in a second. Um, I'm going to get on to the next person here. That's our first winner. Um, car. I hope I'm saying it right. I don't know if I am. All right. I'm going to move on down further down here to the next one. Here we go. Let me get to that timestamp. Okay. Omkar, Omkar, man, I'm so bad with trying to say these names. All right, so here's the number two. Here we go. Our second one. Shunya or Shun, Shunya, if I'm saying that right. You're number two. Awesome, awesome. You got, uh, let's flip it back over here. Three, zero, seven, seven, eight, five, six, six. Winner number two. Shouldn't you? Now, this one is opposite, right? We got someone who's very new game. That's cool, though. I get that. I get that. Um, but, yeah, you got um, the, the typical Panther setup. I'm glad you're able to get both Panther and Kill Shot. Good on you. Hopefully, you got in, like, before they made that change and were able to get those those mechs. Because, man, that, I hope you didn't spend 3,000 A-coins on those. But, yeah. Yeah, those setups are good. Decent one for Juggernaut, too, at 8 energy. Um, and then Arachnos, yeah. The typical stuff you'd see early game like this. Nice. Hopefully that'll help you get some, uh, you know, maybe some Javelin Rack 6s. Maybe uh, getting on your way to a Guardian, something like that, when you get later on down the path. But nice. You're number two. All right. Let's keep on going. Here we'll get to our third one. Yeah, it keeps playing the video right at the start. Sorry. Do, 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 do. All right, so 
Um, Shunya. Next one here. MVP Hadif. I'm saying that right? Yep. He said, hey, Scape, uh, thanks for doing the giveaway, and your content is really good. Uh, so please let me win this giveaway. Hey, I, well, I didn't let you win. You won a fair and square, buddy, so good on you. I also love that he has the, the 15 kills there. Um, I'm assuming that's from some other people. I know some other guys who do their giveaways uh, will ask people to put in the number of kills or like something in their comment. So he probably did that one and then copy and paste it into mine, which do it, man. Like enter in all the giveaways you can. I, I, I always encourage everyone to do that. So yeah. Um, nice, nice. So you're number three here. We'll do that. We're, we're going to put in your, uh, your ID check real quick. Three, seven, two. I think I got that right. Yep. There we go. Nice 2k right around there. Oh, look at you got all the Neo scale flexing a little. All right. All right. <laughs> Good though, nice. Interesting setup with red on here. I wonder if it's just because you needed to use one here. Yeah, and you already got Crow set up on, on that with the disc launcher. That makes sense. So if you don't have Rosa, Crow is gonna go better with the disc launchers, better weapon for it. Yep, makes sense. Good setups though. Nice stuff. I mean you got you got the goods, the good stuff that you'd want around this time. Nice. Good deal. All right. Uh, so we are on, what do we got? Number four here. It's going to be our next one here. You get that. That's three. Tip. You guys chatting in there, Miss Trouble? Yep. She's all <laughs> set, I think. Are we on winner four or five? We're on winner four right now. Um, so here we go. If I, if I hit the button from my video earlier, there we go. Gaming Freak, uh, ELMT Ninja, ELMTL, sorry, ELMTL Ninja. All right, that's our next winner here. Nice. Winner number four, Gaming Freak at the top, their YouTube name. 8513. Yep, 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 nice. 2300, all right. Yeah, you got the disc launchers too. I'm, I'm loving... Seeing people at like 2K with their disc launchers. That's a, it's a good one to get. And price-wise, especially around this area of like 1500 to 2K-ish, it's a solid weapon to have a disc launcher 8. So good pick. I've been seeing a decent amount of people putting them on Zephyr too, which I find interesting. I haven't run it that way much, but I see people running it that way. And it's just an interesting build to me because I would put it probably on like a Guardian or Panther before I would put it on Zephyr. But hey, you know. I guess if you're if you got your missile racks on kill shot, yeah. What do you put on Zephyr? That's not bad. Just interesting though. All right, cool, good stuff. All right, so I got that set up for that one. Let's go to our fifth one, and then we'll break and we'll do a quick match here. Uh, five twenty, four twenty-five. Sorry. That should be right around here where the next one comes up. Here we go. Dr. Electron. Oh, no, this is another one that was just uh, making a comment about the railgun juggy. Like I said, that was my keyword, railgun. So it picked up on a couple people. So that one didn't count as five, but this one does. Here we go. Dragon Master. This is number five. Nice, dude. All right. <laughs> I see you. You how? You how in chat? Say, don't worry, everyone. There's still, uh, still hope. I know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That's why I switched this to 10 so that I spread the love around a little bit more. But, uh, you know, like we've always said, there's plenty of other people who do giveaways. You guys should enter those too if you don't yet. Uh, and there's new partners for new giveaways, which is also awesome. But Yeah, we've had a lot of new partners recently. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Dragon Master, what are you, your guardian, he's naked. What's going on? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sure he's best around with this hanger. Cool. That's all right. Yeah. Uh, Aries with the Rock and Mortar 12. Yep, not bad, not bad. See now, yeah, this is, this to me almost makes more sense, but it probably depends on how you use kill shot. Like, I would rather have the disc launcher 8 on the kill shot and then have the missile racks on the Zephyr, but it depends on how much you use each mech. For me, this is more like the early game setup that I would run. But 
doesn't mean the other one's bad. It's just different. So, to each their own. That's awesome, man. Um, get some weapons at Guardian. Use those A-coins. Buy something for him. He's naked. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Congrats to you. And those are our first five winners here. Uh, we're just going to pick a quick custom matchup here. And uh, then we'll do our other five, all right? This will just be a full hanger one, just for fun. All right. So this one, yeah, I'll just open it up to everybody. All right, here is going to be our code for this room. It is ACJPXL. ACJPXL. Okay, just want to make sure I typed it right. <laughs> <clears throat> nice nice all right that's actually not too bad on both sides yeah my side might be a little weaker i don't know actually it's not too bad i'm just gonna go with it though so we don't take too long because we got other matches to play we got more giveaway stuff to do so much stuff to do so let's make it happen let's roll all right Lance San Jose had a question. Oh, what's that? Should they buy Disc Launcher 8 or Brick House? Oh, I would say Disc Launcher 8, man. I like Brick House. I think he has some potential for either Endgame or some other fun stuff. But, man, like Disc Launcher 8 is a solid weapon. Really like it. Uh, especially, well, I, I guess I should say it depends on where you are in game. If you're able to get Brick House now, then maybe you don't want it. I don't know. So anybody here oh there's somebody i'm gonna back up because i don't have stuff on me he's coming after me though oh my teammates helped me out nice oh couldn't couldn't dodge those though <laughs> oh he's got a shadow nice all right let's bring out the beefy guy oh they're all creeping up over there on that side tell if that guy was like freezing up or what yeah, everybody's jumping down here oh good try guys nice you were sneaky 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 all right i'm worried about shishka bauer he's a good player we be in trouble hmm. Nice. I'm going to... Oh, somebody got us froze. Oh, good play. They keep sneaking up on this side, and I'm letting it happen. What's wrong with me? Nice job, guys. I'm just having too fun dropping uh, discs on people. That's my problem right now. <laughs> All right. I better sneak up this way. Make something happen. All right. I don't want to... Just rush up there and get myself killed. I'm trying to play cautiously here. Yep. Yeah, some worried about there. Oh, I thought I got it in time. Oh, I, I still didn't. Okay, I did get it in time. I was like, wait a minute. I guess I was just out of range then? That was close, though. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh. Nice job. I think Ronan has it in for me. No, I'm just in the I'm just in the line of fire. It's really what it is. You have two minutes remaining. Good playing, buddy. You're doing good. Keep hold up back there. Okay. So that means I can go here. Oh no, that's what I was afraid of. Okay, good. <laughs> I just feel like that's gonna happen. If I go somewhere, it's just gonna pop up and boom. 
Good job, guys. All right. Nice. Let's do our, our other five giveaway people, and then we'll bring our guest on in. Because we've been taking long enough. All right. So let's uh, let's go back to the video. Pull these ones up here. 521. All right, here we go. Our next one after Dragon Master. Oh, yeah, this one was using the color codes to uh, 200. I don't really know what their actual name is. I don't know if 200 is their name, but it was using. they were still using the color codes. Does anybody still use these, the color code things? I didn't know if they totally, like, stopped everyone from using them or if some people still use them, but... Uh, I haven't seen it, any of the color ones at yeah, all. Yeah, I haven't seen it in such a long time, so I was surprised to see that when it came up. But, um, they probably just don't have the A-Coins to change it back. <laughs> that's, a, that's a really good point. That's a really good point. I didn't even think of that. That is so true, though. That's why I didn't mess with it. I didn't want to bother. I didn't want to, you know, spend the A-Coins just for some yellow or whatever color I want to put on there. Red, I don't know. Um, yeah. That's cool, though. I, I get it, though. Everybody had fun with that. All right. Yeah, you got some decent stuff here. be nice to get these up if you can get the dual copies. Probably be a, a favorable thing to do. Got the disc launchers, yep. The eights too. It's kind of low level, but I know Jav eights are hard to level up. Um, take some time, but not bad stuff here. Would be curious to maybe see some long arms, maybe on your uh, Paragon, but it depends on how level those are too. They're probably similar to your Jav eights. Jav eights are pretty good. I wonder how your Jav uh, sixes are. I feel like Jav sixes at three star or a little bit higher have outplayed my uh, Javelin 8 so far because I haven't leveled mine up yet. You just have to look at those damage values to see which is better. Um, even if you have the energy for it, the eight, the 6s could still be better based on your damage scales and all that. But hey, you know, it's a good weapon for sure. It just takes time to level it up because they gave us that one star. I That was my favorite crate rush, by the way, I think. Because that one, well, my favorite, I guess, would be the ones where they let us trade in the coins for, you know... Uh, the tokens for acoins but the jav 8 one where we definitely got the jav 8 at one star at the very least was the one i liked probably the most when new stuff came in because it was guaranteed you're getting the new item even though it's super weak right now and then those who wanted to spend could pay to upgrade it quickly if they wanted so it felt like it was the best of both worlds right i don't know what do you think miss treble that was probably my favorite one out of them uh I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. I'm no that's help okay. right now. That's all right. You're you're in there looking at uh, chat. I, I that's I I'd have to really look back and think about that. That's a, a hard question. I guess I don't remember off the top of my head. Yeah. Um. Because I I, I never use them. They're so weak, and it's hard to get blueprints, and it's gonna take forever to level them up. So yeah. I just meant in the way that they, they did the The, the way event. that they did it. it. Yeah. Okay, so this next yeah. one. Sorry, I, I didn't mean to cut you off. I, I agree. We could probably come back to that. I'm sorry. Um, that was my fault. Uh, but this next one uh, was interesting because the two picks were... I, for, I, had to, I had to switch them because this one, we got the same guy. Who won our first one? I thought, like, wait a minute, did this guy cheat and put it in multiple times? No, man, he only entered once, but this dude got double lucky. He he came up twice. Now I'm not gonna give it to him because I, I can't give it to two people in one you, giveaway you like mean that. You're not gonna give it to him twice. I'm not gonna give it to him twice. Yes, that's what I meant. I'm sorry. He definitely won on the first one. That was legit, but I can't let him win twice. So I feel bad for this guy because he's not getting double. Uh, but <laughs> you feel bad? <laughs> well, I feel I feel bad because he used up all of his luck on on one of them, so he wouldn't get another one in the future, maybe. Um, but I usually don't have back to back winners in the same giveaway, and probably not one giveaway to the next. Um, I haven't had that happen though. This is the first time this has happened like this, where it was like the same person got it, you know, right in a row. Um, but I mean, this guy already won, so this is not going to count for one of our ten. Uh, and the next one I have coming up, uh, thanks to Miss Treble, we're able to get this one. So let me let me uh, play this next one here. And this is going to be our number seven winner. This is uh, not Yoda. All right, said I'm I'm your new subscriber. 
uh, and I sub to you because of the giveaway, which is great. That's totally fine. I'll check your content, though, and keep giving you my little worthless support. Sorry for my bad English. Such a nice comment. Uh, but unfortunately, uh, like when we first got this one, this person uh, didn't put in the right ID. I put in that ID number, and it was incorrect. And I was so bummed out because I, I thought it was, you know, I, you know, would love it if this person won. But this is why I always tell people, man, make sure you get your ID correct. If it's easiest, just copy and paste it from in-game. Like I have it right up there on the top. You can just tap it and it'll copy it, you know. Definitely you want to do that if you can to make sure you get it right. Now, fortunately, because Miss Treble is a uh, genius, she said, I think the person is just missing uh, one character in there. And they're a newer player. And she was right. And uh, it was just a zero that we had to add on to the end of this because otherwise it would have been like a fake account or something like that. So, um, or just a dummy account that had like no play on it. And I knew it wasn't not Yoda. So uh, we were able to figure it out and we got it here for not Yoda. So thanks, Miss Treble, for helping not Yoda out here. I'm sure they'll oh, appreciate it. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I know I was determined to try every... <laughs> missing number and fortunately it wasn't too bad yeah but thank thank you to mech killers for the super chat we really appreciate that yeah man that's really cool i really appreciate that thumbs up to you as well thanks um all right uh i'm gonna quickly check out this one because we gotta move it along but this this has the the usual players you already got the um aries i would like to see uh, the javelin sixes, if you're able to get those, because that would go good here. And then eventually you'll you'll want to do the missile racks um, or like long arms on uh, panther, I think. Um, oh no, you oh, you already have long arms on on your arachnos, but yeah. But yeah, like uh, the javelins would be another good one that I would think you'd want to get coming up here. So yeah, all right. Um, let's go on to number eight. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I just read Sentry said he's at a birthday party, or they're at a birthday party. So, hey, you know, uh, I feel That's bad. commitment. Yeah, that is. I'm like, I almost feel bad. I want you to take the night off since you're so committed here. Um, but love having you as always, man. It's always so good to have uh, you with us. So, so helpful. Um, all right, let me get on to our last couple here. We got to move it along. I'm always doing too much talking. Okay, uh, 932... What I got. Okay. All right. Here's the next one. Uh, Man of Match Gaming. This is Blaster. Good luck to everyone, Commanders. Nice. You're number eight. I also appreciate that he said Commanders and not Pilots. Since we have Pilots in game now, I'd, I'd appreciate a different name for us as the players. Otherwise, it's all confusing. So I like Commanders. That's a good one. Good call. Six, seven, two. Blaster. Again in that 2K range. Again, though, got the, the tools that you'd want around this time. I don't know what you want to do next. There's a lot that you could do here. You got the Mr. Rex. You got arcs, too, and you also got the, the Mr. Rex sixes, too. Decent tools for early game. I like those. Um, yeah. Uh, I don't see any jabs, so I don't know if you weren't able to get jabs, want jabs, but maybe this will help you get that. But yeah, nice. Good deal. Uh, okay, let's move on to number nine here. Gonna hurry this up. Uh, 10, 18. Oops, I went a little too far ahead. So we saw the next one had everybody likes to see the name cycle all right this one we got uh jungo or yongo yugo i don't know which one it is lx for that one nice all right we got one two three uh one, two, three, one, two. there we go nice Again, close to that 2K range. Nice red hanger. Oh, I see the stasis beam there, too. Stasis beam 16. Nice. And you got the uh, the pilot with it. Good deal. Yeah, some, some solid stuff set up here. Nice. 
would be nice to put the Misurek pilot on there if you're able to get it, but that would be a good one to add. Um, maybe these eight coins will help with that, but nice. Good deal. All right. Good stuff. All right. Let's get our last winner here. Here we go. Here we go. Uh, let's get to it. Come on. Oh, there it was. You guys probably already saw it. <laughs> Started to go through. My timing was off on here, I think. Yeah. There we go. Jetpack Boss is our last winner here. Gamer Tech JJ. All right. So that's our last one. Uh, two eight zero five eight two six seven. There we go, Mr. Jetpack Boss. It's our last one, a little bit lower in power, but hey, awesome! Nice, uh, Arachno skin there. I got the same one, it's a fun one. Um, yeah, nice. Yeah, you got uh, some interesting setups here. Uh, I don't see jabs again. Maybe you're not able to get jabs. Maybe this will help you get some jabs. I would love to see that on your like kill shot or something like that. Very helpful weapon. Um, interesting. I almost want to switch these two, like in terms of their loadouts for me personally, just because this guy can brawl a little bit better than this one can. He's kind of squishy. That's why a lot of people put long arms on him, I think. But hey, it depends on what you use them for and, and what you experience that early in the game now. Um, I, I know Arachnos, if you get him early, he actually feels a little tanky early on uh, until you get some stuff that's better, but it tends to go away quick <laughs> as other mechs and stuff catch up. Um, all right, so uh, those are the winners, and there we go. Uh, uh, and Miss Treble, she's on it. She's already got them in the chat, all our winners in there. Um, some people ask about giving away the new mech and other stuff. I don't have any way to do that. All I can do is eight coins, guys. Um, I've asked them about changing that possibility uh, or like to give away other stuff like pilot marks or scrap uh, and they have not been able to do so yet. I don't know if that's something they will change in the future, but somebody else is asking what they get. This is eight coins for this one. This is uh, 500 each. So 500 eight coins for all of our winners. So congrats to you guys. All right. All right. Uh, as we said in all of our giveaways, though, let me say this real quick. Uh, all of the different partners, well, not all of them, but most of the other partners right now uh, do their giveaways as well. So we have a lot of those at the home page of our channel. We usually mention them uh, multiple times or, you know, do different kind of things to uh, mention them as well, just so that you guys can sub to their channels and enter those giveaways as well. We do make a playlist for the giveaways too, just so you can see all the other ones that happen. So again, you can enter in all of those as well. There's lots of opportunities for that. So um, yeah, anyway, um, <laughs> Sentry, bro, that took 40 minutes. I know, man. All right, I gotta stop talking because we got our guest and we got some games and matches to do. Um, and I know Miss Treble, you already asked uh, with her and she's all set, right? So, yeah, she was. I know. I know. She's been sitting in there <laughs> waiting for all this time, probably like just twiddling her, her thumbs. Anyway. All right. So I hope she's ready. I'm going to drag. I'm going to bring her on over if she uh, if she is ready. So we'll see. Hopefully she's not like eating popcorn and we all just hear that. No. OK, we'll see. All right. So let's bring her in. You guys probably already saw who it was going to be. But hello, Maria, you're live. You're with us. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you. Awesome. All right. Thank you for being so patient. I knew it was going to take a little while with the giveaway. I'm sorry for having you sit for so long, but here we got uh, um, the le the leader, our, our fearless leader here from the uh, Killer Queens, or Killer Queen, I should say, the Killer Queen uh, clan. This is Maria. So thank you so much for joining us here. No problem. It's good to be here. Thank you for having me. Yeah. And you guys let me know if you can hear clearly. I can hear you very clearly, but I just want to make sure everyone else can hear. Um, but yeah, I thought it'd be fun to have you on. Um, I know you and I have talked and, and uh, played different kind of matches and stuff, different stuff before. And you guys have a, a, a fun clan. Um, I know there's lots of different clans around, but uh, you guys do a lot of fun stuff. And uh, yeah, I just want to have you on, play some matches, talk, all that kind of fun stuff. Um, I didn't know, though, uh, what you feel like, how much you want to play for matches, if you just kind of want to sit and chill while we play matches. But 
I'll probably do some that are full hangers and then do some that are like fun custom matches uh, where it's like we use certain max and other stuff if you've seen the stream before, but yeah. Right, yes, and I have, and either way sounds fine. I'm up for whatever. Awesome, all right, so why don't we do that? We'll start with a few uh, just, you know, probably full hanger because I only did one full hanger during the giveaway. Um, so I'm gonna set up a custom match now and I'll grab you. I don't know what your power is at right now, Maria. What are you at? It's it's, it's just almost 3,700 right now. That's respectable. You definitely use that. I've I've seen you play. I often play with um, higher SP players, mostly because I feel like it makes me improve faster. Yeah. So I enjoy doing that. Awesome. Well, we'll see what we get. I mean, I get a, I get a mix here, and that's always fun. But uh, after we got you in, I'll leave it open to have other people come in. So here's going to be our uh, room code for this one. Let me get that in here for anyone who want to join. This is a, a full hanger, so A-K-F-Q-C-H is our room code. <clears throat> Anyone is welcome to join for this one. Try to get it mixed up in here. We got some that are 5K. See how that all goes? <laughs> Always fun, though. All right. Yes. I love um, the challenge don't know who has played already we have i don't know if you know we have a guy named sentry or actually i don't know I, I should say a person i don't know if it's a guy or girl i feel bad because i don't think i've ever asked um but is always super helpful and is telling us who has played in matches already to try and keep it fair so that everybody gets a chance to play always so helpful they're at a birthday party and they're still here that's commitment that's amazing i'm impressed thanks for being here dude <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, hmm, I'm wondering, should I be, should I mix up teams? Probably a little. I don't know. Not sure. They look pretty even. Did they? Oh, we had one oh, guy we lost left. One. Yep. Yep. Okay, let me switch that up. That looks even too. Maybe. Oh, the well, one of the five guys. Oh, I thought both of them were on my side. Uh. That doesn't look too bad. Okay, Sentry said we're okay for the people. Um, all right, we'll, we'll give that It'd be cool to have go. that sort of commitment, <laughs> even What's at that? a birthday party. Oh, it's really cool to have party? that sort of commitment and <laughs> still be helping you. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. That's crazy. Agreed. Yeah. How many matches did you play already? Did you just play one? I just did one. Yeah, that's it. Okay. Three, so, two, so we got in there so far. All right, Maria, the rules are you can't attack me. You can only attack everyone else. <laughs> <laughs> Heard. Yeah. Don't listen to him. No, no, no. You could, you could shoot me. I'm just kidding. I'm just messing with you because you're here. <laughs> well, I usually don't heed that rule when people tell me oh, who are friends of mine. That's good. So. That's good. That's good. <laughs> you don't need to. Great. I was going to say, did you end up on the same team? No, we didn't the for opposite. this one. Yeah, I didn't know if we should be or or what's fair. I don't know. I think it's sometimes more interesting if we mix it up. But play oh somebody get core i can't reach him nice nice good play good get
Oh no. Nice. We're all, we're both so quiet. We're both too focused. Yeah. <laughs> we're a little behind. Cap took me out a second ago. Well, you guys are ahead in uh, influence right now, so. A couple of people are saying that Maria and I sound pretty similar. Oh, yeah? Hello. I don't know. I like your voice, so I guess that's a compliment then. <laughs> I think so. Oh, <laughs> uh, I got too many people on me. I'm in trouble. Three people. Yeah. Not gonna be good. <laughs> I, think I, I think I lost my team. Yep. There you go. Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> From the captures. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. Though. It's hey. like not even kills. All three. Zero kills, two captures. There. Oh, we did end up on the same team. Oh, I was wait, wondering because I was I thought said... like yeah, it looked blue and I'm like, wait a minute. So it must have yeah, oh, I... when I shuffled. Okay. You said we were ahead in influence and I'm like, I don't know about I thought we were still on opposite teams. I was totally oblivious. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, you shuffled and Yep, yep. Got on I the thought same it would side. keep those two separate and then it would Oh, it doesn't matter. Whatever. All right. We'll do another one as full customs and then we'll do uh this one as a um five V five. And then we'll try some, play some other ones around. So, um, do you have any like specific things that you like to try, Maria, for like fun, uh, fun challenges, like certain loadouts or certain, you know, type of uh, fun stuff you do? Well, I'm not sure if it's doable here, but my very favorite thing that we ever do is wacky uh, kill shot chess, and that's not playing the game correctly. It might be too hard to explain, but basically, yeah. we just do. No joystick, no left hand movement, and we just used no weapons, just kill shot, and only dashes. But that's a little bit complicated to explain, but that's my very favorite. Yeah, so uh, basically it's just dash only movement, right? And then it's just uh, no weapons, mm -hmm. and that's all you have, correct? Oh, oh I think we lost her. Uh oh. <laughs> she just dropped out. Maybe she she, she also said no left hand movements or something. Yeah, so I don't know what that means. Oh, oh, she means like you can't oh, move you forward, dash only. Yeah, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. So yeah, that we've done that, but I don't yeah. know if she, it's a little different. Oh, uh, there we go. We got her back. I don't know what happened. Oh, that's okay. That's okay. No problem. Uh, I was just trying to find you on my list, but um... so should we have Maria tell us about her Discord channel? Yeah, yeah, that would be good to do. Um, maybe I'll have you, I'm, I'm not seeing the list. So how about this one? I'll just leave it open and we'll have other people come in. You can tell us a little bit about what you guys do before we do some other custom matches. Yeah. That way you can talk and not have to play and talk. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, sounds that, good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so hang on, let me get our room code in for everybody. This again, will be full hangers on a five V five. So we got a E O. CPG AEO CPG. All right. So yeah, Maria, I mean, obviously you were telling us about your your chess kind of thing, which is very cool. Um, but yeah, part of that is is you started to say wacky. So I, I, I almost wanted to say wacky Wednesday because I know you do that because you guys have a server where you do all kinds of cool stuff. And that's part of the reason why I want to have you on. It's such a cool community thing. So why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Right, so Wacky Wednesday is probably our second most popular event that we hold in the Monday Mayhem server. But originally it started with we were still time dropping before custom matches began when we were in beta. And we chose Monday night 
as K- when it was just still KQ only for the Monday Mayhem stuff. And we called it Monday Madness at the time. But we ended up just choosing Monday because we were all very hardcore grinders for Tourney and didn't want to have a, a low turnout because everybody was like, no, I'm just grinding Tourney right now. Yeah, yeah. So to avoid that, we kind of discussed it and KQ's all like, yeah, Monday, let's do Monday. And we'd heard about people having Friday fights a lot, and it was kind of more like a clan versus clan thing usually. And we're like, well, you know, we're all different SPs. Uh, We were fairly new when we first started Monday Madness and started time dropping. So we chose Monday and we chose to make it more like mixed um, teams, but just within KQ. And then once customs came out, we were we were just so ready for that because then it makes it so much more simple to always get each other in the matches because you're not just guessing at the time drop thing so Mm -hmm. when custom matches came out we decided well you know this is really cool what we do within our clan so let's make it a thing where we can invite our other friends from other clans and then it just kind of grew until we have several clans a lot of just i don't even know how many clans but it's a lot in the monday mayhem server and we encourage them just invite you know whoever and through that we get participation for the monday mayhem event which is still just mondays and it's it's a customs that it's all mixed up so it it doesn't pit clan versus clan you just kind of evenly match the teams and it turns out to be some of the most challenging matches because of it being mixed so evenly and that's our goal that's really cool yeah i mean it's kind of similar to what i try to do here where we have mixed stuff like that too but like to just have that and multiple times throughout the week um very fun stuff i mean i've i i don't get to do it as much as i'd want to but i know you guys have like a ton of people that come from all over uh do the the monday stuff where it's all mixed up and then yeah, Wednesday is like where you get to do some of the goofy stuff that we, we usually do for our custom matches. Uh, I know you do something Friday too, right? Did you, did you talk about Friday? I'm sorry if I missed that one. But. So actually we have several hosts from all different clans um, from all over the world in our server. Hosts, basically trusted friends that we've made hosts because they're interested in helping hosting events or just because we trust them for moderation. And uh, one of our hosts said that he wanted to start something for Fridays, um, and that's Fistus. So he actually started the Friday Furnace. So that's kind of more like that's a bigger tourney night. So they start off with squatting for tourney Mm -hmm. if anybody still needs tourney. But then if everybody is kind of where they want to be or kind of at their limit, like not going to get first, but they're happy with third because that's where they're going to get. They're not going to grind anymore. Then everybody switches over to customs, and it's kind of like a Monday Mayhem feel for that night, for the rest of the night, too. Nice. Wacky is totally different, though. Wacky is is so fun and <laughs> becoming more popular just because there's so much laughing. Everybody's on comms, and it's just kind of craziness because we even use, like, auto cannon too. Stuff like that. We just go back to the basics and even the playing field more than ever because everybody has a specific mech and weapon. Like... One of everybody's favorites was Arachnos with Auto Cannon 2. Just one Auto Cannon 2. Oh, okay. And it took forever, but because you just have that one mech, then it also doesn't take as long. And mm-hmm. we have a video of that one, actually, and it's just a lot of noise. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I yeah, do. Yeah, Auto the, uh... Cannons are one of our favorites here. We have to do that every every stream, at yep. least something with an Auto Cannon. It's become yes. a regular. It's a regular. <laughs> Do you mind if I share the link to the Discord? Yeah, that's fine. We love having as many as want to join who's who are interested. Sure. Yeah, I put it in the description, but um, we can also put oh. it uh, in the in the chat too for you guys who want to know now. So that's good. Another good thing about Wacky Wednesday is just that no matter what uh, SP you are or where you're at in the game you can come to Wacky Wednesday. And we usually have not leveled our Auto Cannon 2s or Lancer. Well, some people have leveled their Lancers. And so they do rain on the map for those. 
but others of us have not. And so it kind of evens the playing field of, for that day. Whereas you might be one of the lower SP if you come for Monday Mayhem. But pretty soon we're probably going to have to divide Monday Mayhem up a little bit more. So there will be rooms open for higher SP, mid-level, and then also lower. Nice. Three, two, one. Oh, tied up. That's very cool. Yeah. So, once you get into the server, what do you do? Like, how do you join in a match? Well, so one of the things that people often forget, and if, if the link's being shared, I might as well get that out of the way. When you first enter the server, you don't get a role to see the whole server until you click on the dino check mark oh, wow. and become a contender. So once you're a contender, you can see everything. And uh, we give a code in certain custom code channels to show which matches are open. And we try to keep that updated throughout so that if some's, if one of them's full, then you don't try to join it. And if there's still availability, availability, we update that, that, you know, this is the one that has room. Try to keep on top of that just to make sure people have a place. And if, for instance, if we have two rooms that fill completely up, then we have other hosts standing by usually to open a third room, though there's plenty of room. And are people normally on comms or are some room on comms and some not? It's both. Uh, we do have a lot of fun on comms and especially for Wacky Wednesdays, we encourage comms because for Wacky Wednesdays, we talk about the setups and laugh about the setups. And also we accept ideas for Wacky Wednesdays where, and we have a, a separate channel for accepting those ideas too. Uh, and we post whatever we're doing, try to keep up with posting our current hanger because throughout the night we'll change it to different things. It's not just one thing all throughout the night. There's a hanger setups and rules channel for that. Uh, but if you're on comms, yes, it's it's definitely way more clear to be able to keep up with where we're at and a lot of fun. Yeah. Um, now, is the Wacky Wednesday a separate server or That's is it the same. still? Okay. Just on yeah. Wednesday. Right. Okay. We've had <laughs> suggestions for Twisted Tuesday and Thirsty Thursday and <laughs> oh, stuff like that. <laughs> but yeah. we're pretty happy with just the every other day for now because that's enough for yeah. all of us. Yeah. And other people do, like you said, tourney and other things. So, like, you know, right. trying to figure out what, what people do. That's good. Don't want to interfere. Yeah. Oh, yeah. There is one other cool thing. Um, we have a collection of just ladies. Um, I know that, as far as I know, there's not a server that's just Macarena ladies. So we kind of just made a channel in uh, Monday Mayhem. And I think there might be just ladies clans out there, but like for as far as a connect collection of English speaking clans, um, I didn't know of any. So I had a lot of suggestions that I do something. So we have a couple dozen ladies that are in the siren call, it's called. Uh, and we get together in squad two, three times a week and go guys versus girls just to kind of have. And it's from all <laughs> clans. It's just kind of fun. Yeah. Little competition. So uh, I know it's not a Wednesday, but you were talking about the kill shot chess. So I'm assuming that's just like no weapons, uh, no movement, just using your dash. And that's yes. it, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. So it's more like a chess board and very strategic. You have to figure out what you're going to do because you may only have one chance to survive and help your team team get some kills. Yeah, so I don't know if you have a kill shot ready. I can I can grab you in to do that one because I, I want to do that one. I, we've done that one before here. It's been a while. And not everybody always follows the rules. They'll start moving around with their kill shots. But, uh, you know, yeah. we try to do it for fun. Yeah. <laughs> We had, uh, we've not had too much issue with that, except for this last Wednesday. We had a little more problems with that, with just people not following instructions. I don't like kicking people out of the matches. I usually don't have to, but yeah, yeah we, we did have to this past time just because of not following the rules. But when they come, like, eventually they'll be like, 
messaging why did i get kicked out and we'll tell them and they'll be like okay we'll do it now invite us back right right that's that's i have to deal with that here too so i mean it's the same kind of thing it's always difficult when you're trying to create specific rules for match but it makes it so much fun so yeah yeah um all right and i am ready if you'd like to. i was just about to say it looked like you were ready i checked your hanger power so i'll pick you up and uh this one if you guys didn't catch that this is kill shot only no weapons and all you're going to be able to do is use your dash for movement that's it um does this work better do you think on like cpc or 5v5 maria uh we've done both but we usually do 5v5 just because beacons being capped is sometimes a little bit adds complication to it yeah okay that sounds good i like that idea all right so uh we're gonna open up the room here for all of you to join here we go this is akf WKK. AKF WKK. For some kill shot chess. Uh, so, is there more to it than just uh, dash only, no weapons? Nope, that it's pretty simple. Okay, yeah. all right. Yep. Just yeah. checking. Pretty simple, but really interesting and fun. I think uh, this guy is too too high. Yeah, Paradox in the comments says, I'd be amazed if this works, because from what I recall, it's never worked before on this channel. <laughs> yeah, we've tried it before. It's it's easier, like, I'm sure for Maria, when, when you guys do this, because you're all on comms and you can call somebody yeah, out to be like, yeah. hey, you got to, you know, follow the rules. Harder on here, because I'm the only one talking and I'm just, you know, yelling at people. Uh, but <laughs> that's, that's just how it goes for this one. Well, right. and we often have people that are just so excited to get into a match, you know, that they don't change their hanger. They just keep trying to get in every every time. So anyway, I mean, we're, we're glad to have people on. But when we're trying to do this, it makes it a little harder. Yeah. All right. Uh, so I was looking to see if Sentry said that he is. ID log. Oh, yeah. I think he is. Um, too. I think he is too high being in Division six with that kind of power level. Yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I think you're you're probably have more in your hangar than just kill shot. Um, I forgot to mention one thing. I have some of my people men uh, messaging me, reminding me. We always do no pilots for Wacky Wednesdays, just so oh. it levels the playing field even more. But I'm sure it's fine with with pilots too. I, I yeah. still have mine on. I do too for this one because I did not call that. So if you still have your pilots right. on, that's okay. Uh, but yeah, that's yeah. a good point. We usually will do that kind of stuff. But hey, we'll see how this goes. We'll keep it fun. Um, we'll go with this, I guess, the way it is. Yeah. All right. I'm okay with it. We'll give that a shot. <laughs> we'll see how this goes. I don't know if this is a good map for this or a bad map. We'll see. Oh, Sentry says greatness has played. Oh, he has. Oh, no. I'm uh -oh. sorry. Oh, Sentry. He snuck in there. He did. And, and Sentry. Oops. I just hit nothing somehow. I tried We've to done it on this map and... before. Oh, you have done it on this map? Yeah, it's, okay. it's interesting for sure. Yeah, I see a lot of people going to the sides. It's smart. I'm debating on what I should do here. Boy. It is good not to, not to bunch up. I hate it when I just waste my shot and run into something. It's good not to bunch up because then they can get double damage like damage on two people yeah mm -hmm. i agree but then again if you That's... go off on your own they can gang up on you oh man i went over to that one <laughs> hi maria Let's see hi <laughs> oh <laughs> we both dashed so yeah that was the that was the butter dash yeah i i've noticed that too with dash like how the butter dash goes if it ends up oh i'm gonna oh, die no! How did oh that hit yes you? that was terrible oh no warlord gotcha <laughs> Yeah, butter dash happens a lot in these, and we always oh, say yeah. we're breaking the game. Yeah, yeah. We're just breaking the game. Breaking the rules of Macarena. Hey, whatever. Oh, That's fun. Be recording it and send it in. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, you know, there are times when people dash into each other at the same time, and that um, I could see where it doesn't take the damage on either side. But, yeah, when, when I just slipped past you, that was 100% butter dash, but... Sometimes you know. I hope for that so I can survive and uh, <laughs> hurt people still, <laughs> not just die. Greatness, this is a bad idea. Okay. It was like right next to me. I'm like, uh, we shouldn't be here. 
Uh, you guys um, are all bunched up over there. Hit this crew over here. Yeah, right. That's the same one I was thinking of. Now we're all. Ooh, uh oh. Who gets their dash back first? <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I butter dash. <laughs> Again. Oh, I. Oh, wow. Sorry. Oh man, he he's on top hit of you. my head. Do you see this? What? No, I didn't see that. Oh no, I couldn't. Warlord I... was on my head. <laughs> oh, I just saw a Sneaky <laughs> tried to get you, and you dash like right as. He uh, was using his dash, so he dashed into nothing. But... We've actually had flying kill shots before because mm -hmm. they end up glitching on top of each other. <laughs> and I, I ended up on top of a post one time, so that was fun. I think Props Biz to everyone boosted me for, up. Uh, following the rules, too. I think that's the best yeah, that, that was has good. ever gone for mine. I did nothing, though. <laughs> Zero. Yeah. It always looks so bad. <laughs> it does. It does. Yeah. I should have had you, uh, but it didn't count. No, I'm just, <laughs> I'm just messing with you. Everyone butter dash. Oh, it so. kicked I... me again. <laughs> it just doesn't want me to play with you. Oh no, that's okay. I make a new room for it each time. So the other one oh, you had okay, mentioned though was uh, your auto cannon twos. Do you guys always do Arachnos with a single auto cannon two, or do you do other like auto cannon two setups? No, so we usually start with that, and then we've also done thermal lances, which I loved that. And we haven't tried it again, but that's fun, too, because you have all these spiders everywhere, and then just, it's like a laser show. It's yeah, really cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, we have done, uh, we pretty much traditionally, every single one, we do an auto cannon one. So I'm down with doing auto cannon twos on uh, Arachnos for this. You can use two, though. Because I feel like just okay. one will take forever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I think the last time we added two, we d we made it two because it did take forever. Yeah, it does. But when it's your only mech in the hangar, then it's it helps it go That's faster true. too. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you each only have one mech, so it, it you know it makes it fair. But we always got to have auto cannon two as an arts. Um, should we do no pilots on this as well, or does that matter to you? It's up to you. I don't okay. really have any on my arachnos anyway it's... i'm gonna i'm gonna say no pilots for this one because i feel like if we all are using our high-end pilots and stuff it's just gonna make the match take longer with these pea shooters so right let's uh let's do no pilots arachnos only this is our auto cannon 2 battle all right always gotta have one every stream that's the jam all right <laughs> so i'm gonna i'm gonna pick you up again on this one maria and I know Sounds Paradox good. on there who has, has been suggesting something. I haven't been able to look at it, Miss Trouble, but I don't know if you saw it. He's been trying yep. to suggest um, one every time. And I know he Capture the has. point. Okay. So it's, he called it Capture the Point. Rules. Play on a three beacon map and avoid capturing your spawn beacon and the center beacon. The objective is to win by capturing the beacon in the enemy spawn. Yes, that's fun. We've done that one. Okay, I haven't done that one. Has Paradox been with you guys, too? Like, to do some of these? No, I, I guess that's just an ID he came up with or maybe heard of or something. Okay. But, I mean, I'm sure a lot of people might have thought of it. But we've played that one. Yeah. Only difference was we did capture the home beacon just to make it easier to spawn back and harder for the enemy to capture it. So, but you don't capture the center beacon? Right, no, no center. Only we home just capture beacons. home and then enemy, and oh, whoever thought... captures the enemy beacon wins. And we always have done where we did it on the ship map, and we made everybody else jump off the ship or turn around and be killed <laughs> as their punishment <laughs> for losing. <laughs> <laughs> That's fun. Walk the plank, yar. Okay. Yep. Um, so I'm it's gonna... like the first one to capture the enemy <laughs> beacon. Yes. Got wins. it. That's All right. Fun. I love the idea of doing something like that. We'll try that one next. But for this one, um, this will be just Arachnos only, no pilots, auto cannon twos. All right. So I'm going to open the room up for those of you who haven't played. Here we go. This is AFZ MWJ. All right. I'm watching for greatness this time. I let it slip by, Sentry. I'm so sorry, man. He's always so good at catching all of the, the people. And, uh,. I'm not always that good at it. I can't keep up. Oh, Sneaky Lordy, I know you did get to play. I'm glad you got to play before, but 
and so did Royal Kartik. So I'm going to have to ask you guys to go. I can't actually get Sneaky Morty to leave. It's not letting me. Let's see if it shows up. Um, Honor LMA. Yes, I was pretty sure they did as well. One of our other ones. Um, yep, Sentry got that one too. The Honor LMA. Makes sense. I just don't know if there's other ones. Uh, I know I've seen some people play in past ones. I don't think. Oh, that was Lightspeed who was saying Honor LMA. That's okay, man. I get it. All right. We're good on this one. I'm not even going to worry about switching up teams because, like, everybody's around 300 power <laughs> for this. Right. Yeah. All right. Oh, I guess I could have done 5v5. Eh, whatever. Three, guys better two, look out. I got my snowman skin. You're going to be in trouble. Love that skin for this. <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> it, I feel like these skins, though, the way they did them, I'm like, this should totally shoot out snowballs. Come on. Like, it would be way cooler if my bullets were snowballs. If they could have altered that. I feel like they yeah, could. Yeah. Fun. It would be fun. So funny this being a CBC, because rushing to the points is Yeah, funny. with 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 this. <laughs> <laughs> rushing. Yeah, you're not going to be moving too fast. You'd think with extra legs, though, man, the spider would have been way faster. He's just not, not a quick boy at all. An interesting pilot implant for the spider might be to scurry faster. <laughs> yeah, right? Just a speed boost? Yes. I could see that. We have done, which I, I don't think we'll do this week, but uh, like a protect the president one. I don't know if you've done one like that before where you have like a designated person on the team who's like usually someone beefy and then everyone else is running MDs, um, sometimes without weapons so that it just kind of looks like, you know, that's they can only do damage like from the main president. But uh, it's very interesting. So the idea is just to, you know, kill the president on either side. A lot of fun. We did something kind of like that, I guess, where we had a kill shot on either side as the king of the mountain or whatever and then all just juggernauts with no weapons just bodyguards all around trying to interfere with the kill shots killing each other okay so and we we just called it bodyguards yeah yeah so that's almost like an escort mission right where you have someone smaller and you're trying to protect them we kind of did it the opposite no, way but it's the same idea yeah somebody was pushing me so i died yeah yeah oh it happens <laughs> <laughs> Especially with this kind of thing, where it's just like once somebody gets out in the open, everybody just wants to, you know, try to kill them as a team because that's the only way you get kills. <laughs> it's really hard to kill somebody right. with these pea shooters. Oh, we had somebody. I didn't even see that. Somebody else was using a Zephyr. Uh. Oh, guys. This is where it's hard to police. So him is Z5461 was asking um, if we could do protect the president, but with um, Ares as the bodyguards and Zephyr as the president. Interesting idea. Um, I I don't want to be too much longer for tonight. Um, I think uh, we should try to do the other one that we were already talking about with Paradox, right? He mentioned a, a good idea there. Um and I, I couldn't tell with that one. Was that just like everybody uses full hanger? We didn't Capture specify. Beacon. Yeah, we so did it's... it with two mechs, but uh, full hanger is possible. Uh, we just did no mortars because that kind of yeah, got in the way true. of. Um, maybe we do two mechs and no mortars to keep keep that simple, because you know otherwise it might take longer. Everybody play a little more cautiously. So yeah, he said capture the point. So it's play on a three beacon map avoid capturing your spawn and the center so that you're only trying to grab the the enemy's uh spawn point so a little different than what you were saying maria but i like the idea of it and i'd be willing to try that one um so 
yeah, let's let's give that one a shot because like you said, you did something kind of similar to it before. And I like the idea of two mechs. So we'll do just two mechs built however you want. You can use pilots too. I don't mind for this one. Uh, and then all we're trying to do is capture the home beacon. Um, Rhea, do you have a preference to which three beacon map you want to try on this one? The ship's always fun. We could make them walk the plank after. <laughs> oh, that, I like that idea a lot. So I'm down with it. I'm down with it. Uh, we'll do the ship. So how do you make them? Oh, so like if they have any left, they walk the plank? Right. Any any who are still alive after if we win. Okay. All Normally right. it didn't end up being that way because just we just killed everybody in our way <laughs> before we could get to the point where we got their beacon. But yeah. then a couple times we did and they had to either turn around or walk the plank. And a couple didn't, but we killed them anyway. <laughs> so <laughs> it worked. <laughs> Some people rebel. All right, I'm going to get my hanger set up for this one. I don't know if this will be the best, but we'll see. All right. So I'll pick you up again, Maria, if you're ready. I am ready. All right. Awesome. I just got to find you in my list. Man, uh, I'm so glad that I don't have to do this list hunting like I used to in old ones, uh, old streams. It's so hard to do. Uh, so much easier when I can just give room codes. I just have two scouts in right now, so. Oh, okay. I'm going different. We'll see how this goes. <laughs> All right. Our room code is AGP. Y Q P and remember this is gonna be two mechs only and you're not capturing the center or your home beacon, just the enemy's home beacon. And, and I gotta change this to the uh the ship here. Gotta get that ship. Oh, this guy ship, come on. Keeps flipping down the there we go. Why does it do that? You see that? It just keeps going down the list instead of staying on the top. It's like as people get added in, it resets everything. Oh my word, this is so annoying. There we go, finally. All right. <laughs> okay, um, I think I need to shuffle, right? I think I have a couple that are higher on my side. Maybe? I don't know. I think so. Yeah, possibly. Um... Oh, Go Sentry says Undead Evil has yes, played. Yes, he did. Yes, he did. Just last match, too. Um, Soul Ball, he said it played. Okay. You got to put Maria on the other side. Yeah. I know. I'm just, I'm, I'm trying to make sure we got the right set up for people okay all right i'll i'll do that now <laughs> leave it to miss treble to tell me what to do bobby <laughs> joe all right he played i thought he might have gotten in last round yeah he had the setup with the arachno so he definitely got in but now the teams are uneven right okay um i think that might be okay we just need to shuffle so that we get a better uh, Can you just move here. somebody else to the other side? No, I can't do a move. Only if there's an empty spot. Yeah, only if there's an empty spot. Oh. Yeah. So once I fill up the room, I can't do that. But this looks like it's going to be okay, I think. Roughly. Not it's, too bad. Yeah, it's it's fairly close. We got a little bit more on our side. Oh, Shadow Ninja. Dang. Okay. Thanks. Let's see who we get in our next one. Uh, we did get uh, Fistus already. He was in the kill shot one. Yeah, he did. He did good in that one. Uh, did MVP tank play? I know he did last week. Undead Evil. Yeah, I know you wanted to play, buddy, but you already got to play one. Uh, so we got to let everybody get turns to play one. All right. Um, 
I think this is... Yeah, okay, Sentry confirmed. I was like, I think this is good. All right. We're going to go, Maria. Sounds Best of good. luck. All right. Only the enemy home beacon, guys. Everybody follow the rules. <laughs> 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 Hope we all do. We'll see. Everybody go for C. That's what we want. Just C. No, guys, don't take that one. Not supposed to take that one. Oh, gosh. Wait, oh, they guys... can take home, right? No, you're only supposed to take the enemy home, I thought. No, okay, you guys you guys can take your C. All right. Don't take the center. Maria no. had said you can take home. Well, I thought. All right. She I'm said sorry. they played... I, that well, way. Okay, they played it that way, but I was trying to do it the way Paradox was saying, but it doesn't right. matter. It's okay, it's okay. Either way. It probably got confused. Yeah, I know. It's hard to do these sometimes. Alright, so I have a few questions. So yes. Sorry to ask. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Okay, um... Uh, no idea for this asks uh, which to upgrade the rank of first, missile rack eight or disc launcher eight. Um, missile rack eight or disc launcher eight. I, um, I it probably depends on what you play with more. I like the uh, the missile rack eight better. I think it has more longevity in the hangar, but uh, for some people they just like using the uh, disc launcher eight more. So I think it depends on you, what you like better. It's usually how that stuff goes, I think. I don't know. It's just my thinking. Yeah, it's a hard one. They're both great. And if they're equal rank. Guys, don't take center. Get off B. Okay, and Astral um, is asking, should they upgrade first uh guardian to 24 or get an arc 10 oh um uh did we say no mortars i thought we did oh well mm -hmm. yes all right i'm on their home oh no and they killed all the mechs already anyway <laughs> yeah. oh i was like i'm getting the home and then good game over. yeah <sighs> I feel like I should have brought us a, a stronger mech too. Yeah, that's that's why I did that. I just picked a beefy one because I'm like, man, if I pick like just a quick one, I'll get there fast and then I'll die fast. And I only have two mechs, so. Well, a lot of times I can sneak in with my shadow, but I think they were just expecting that too hardcore this time. Yeah, when you only work. have one place to go for, right? Just that being that last hangar, yeah, I mean, that, that one spot. Um, but yeah, you're right. If shadow you works right better team. during a CPC. <laughs> Yeah, that's true. And if you have guys that you can talk to while you do it, it's harder to do it on here with the stream because it's just like everyone's kind of just doing their own thing. Um, there was a couple times I would have called for help on comms. Right, right. Same. There's been times where I would I would talk to people for sure when I do this. Um, we couldn't make anybody walk to plank. Oh, well. But, you know, it was still fun. Um, all right. Uh I feel like we should probably uh, call it soon, but I don't know if there's one other one that we could do. If there's any other like fun ones that you've done, Maria, that you think would be fun to do uh, that we haven't hit yet. Another one that I absolutely love, and I don't know if you would like to try it. It might be too complicated. And yeah, actually, no, it could work. Okay. Well, no, no, maybe not, but it's, it's hide and seek. You have one kill shot on each team and then everybody else is, uh, it, lancers so they can jump and you choose a cpc map usually where you can like jump on roofs or roofs or something but like you have a kill shot jabs on each team and then all the rest are lancers that's super fun Ooh. like hide and seek versus each other but i don't know how you would do it in this context well, so the other one i was thinking you. of is so everyone else would well have yeah lancers. that's true yeah I, I guess it could work or there's zephyrs with arc arc uh that also is fun zephyrs with arcs like yeah, so basically them? just a bunch of stunning <laughs> all sorts. Okay. I like the idea no, of doing the, the kill shot one where it's a, a kill shot. And, yeah, it's uh, fun. Yeah. Do you uh, want to do pilots or no pilots? It is up to you. We okay. usually do none. Okay. 
We but can do no pilots. I don't know how enforceable we. that is, though. I know, I know. It's hard to do that. Um, so do which we, one are we gonna do? That was the kill shot one. So it's me and you in the kill shots with javelins, and then is everyone just using lancers with no weapons, or are they doing it with like? Yeah, they have, no, okay. no weapons. Okay, so they're if you wanna, just hiding. I see, and we're just the seekers then. All right, and so as soon as I kill all of my lancers on your team, mm -hmm. then I can come kill you, and I win. Oh, or vice versa. So but we you have can't to... attack each other until all of your other assignments are out of the way. Basically. Awesome. Oh, I love the idea of that. Okay. So we both have kill shots with... Um, this is like leapfrog, hide, and seek or, seek or something. Um, we both have our kill shots with our uh, javelins. You're better at this, though. You've played javelins far more than I used to, so I think you're going to have the advantage here for this one. We'll see. Um, I do love Jeffs. Yeah, you do. Uh, that's good, though. That's good. So I'll pick you up, and then everyone else who wants to join us, you will be in Lancers, but you will be in no weapon Lancers, and we're not using pilots, so just a bare naked Lancer. All right? If you want to join us for this one. Um, hopefully this one works out. I, th I think this will be really fun. Uh, all right. Um, and I'm sorry, you said CPC map, right? For this? Uh, yeah, we usually actually choose this specific map, one that has lots of roofs. Yeah, which one do you guys usually do? Like, uh, either, uh, I think it's Forbidden City, maybe? Uh, yeah, that one does have a lot of map, uh, roofs and stuff on it. Okay. We'll do that one. I like that idea. All right. Uh, here is our room code. If you want to join us, this is our last one for the evening, but this one will be Lancers only. Yeah, <laughs> Lancers not wearing clothes, as somebody just said. Yeah, so that in the, the chat. Yeah. All right, here we go. Here's our room code. It's A L O R I V. A L O R I V. All right. And I think you already explained this before, Maria, but yeah, when when people do come into your server, it's like there's a a uh, check mark they do as a contenders, but then there's all different room codes that they can go into. So tons of different rooms. I know uh, when I first went in there, it was a little different than now. You guys have, have actually refined a lot of it, and I think it's pretty clear. But it's like it's cool. Though it's just uh, um, you just will go in, find the room code or the room that matches your code, and then get into the room. So and you don't even need right. to be on comms, right? I know some people do comms. You don't have to don't. be. Right. You just need the code. Okay. But, and actually, I have to say one thing. Uh, shout out to Silence. He used to be Purge at the time we started this. So this was actually started as a Purge KQ thing, uh, effort there. And uh, I think he's moved to Void now. But Silence is uh, really the one that helped set everything up with me. Uh, we kind of put our ideas together. And we still have a few Purge leaders that help moderate in here too. Yeah. But I couldn't have done this without Silence. So. <laughs> All right, uh, so I did, uh, some of you guys were, were probably like, hey, why'd you kick me? Uh, your power level was too high for a single Lancer. So I had to drop some of you. Um, so like Vortex here, I think probably as a division four. Oh no, wait, his squad power is showing it correct now. Okay, at first it showed it way higher, my bad. Um, okay, let's see if we can get it set up here. Man, this is gonna be hard too, because I'm gonna I, I don't know if we'll be able to swap around the teams too much uh, to even out the rest of everyone else's power without us getting switched around. Right, and it normally doesn't matter too too much. Yeah, as that's far true. as because my jabs will usually kill any of them first second try maybe. Okay. Anyway. All right, you ready? I think we're good now. We're gonna give this one a shot. Sentry says just start. <laughs> <laughs> all right we're starting buddy i'm sorry i'm sorry i was just looking at it to make sure we were good <laughs> okay right. so i have questions sure i'll try my best oh. as yes. i focus on which, killing frogs let's go <laughs> which should they upgrade first guardian to 24 or get arc tens um Guardian to 24 or get arc 10s. I would say, um, hmm, good question. 
I think you... Mm, it depends on what you have in your hangar. I, I feel like you'll want Arc 10s, but it depends on what you're going to put with it to make that work. Dang, if all this relies on me, we'll see how good I'm, how quick I am at killing stuff. You guys are going to have to be my eyes. Seeing people. Nice, okay. Dude, Fozzie is like way up there. You see that guy? Nicely done. Got way mm. high up there. Okay, and Alex Lee wants to know, should they get their long arm up to rank six or get a rail gun? Uh, their long arm up to rank six or get a rail gun. Um... I think These railgun guys is what are you're good. gonna want. Yeah, they are. You're gonna want you're gonna want railgun, I think, first. Well, I only got one more frog to get. Oh, you're way ahead of me. <laughs> These, my guys are hiding good. <laughs> one of them, Foz, Fozzie up here is hiding really good. He's being smart. It's hard for me to hit Usually him. Usually they're not oh. that good. <laughs> <laughs> so um, any anybody except these lancers is welcome in mayhem. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> not many people use lancers, so they're probably not as comfortable with it. So, oh whoops, I hit the wrong button. Ooh, okay, I have, oh, I have just two more. Oh, he's so close! I gotta get this guy. He's almost dead. I'm gonna get you, Fozzy. Okay, I got one more also. Oh, I could get you, Maria. I could get you. Oh no no. <laughs> Oh, come on, Panther. You're going to get me killed here. Oh, no. I just killed my last one, I think. Oh, right? you did. It was me. just me. I was the last one left. That was so oh. close. <laughs> Guys, good that leapfrogging. Was that was really fun. I've never tried that one, so I really liked it. We uh, definitely have to try it. And it actually ones. worked pretty well. I think everybody actually followed the rules on that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you guys did great. That, that might stay. We might keep that one as a, as a custom. That's yeah, if we're here. able to do that more, that would be great. Um, I know Itzkaz had another suggestion for Guardian for Auto Cannon 2s. We always got to do our Auto Cannon 2s, man. So that would be a good one to potentially do in the future. But I think we're going to call it for tonight. And man, that was really, uh, that was a lot of fun, Maria. I love the ideas that you had. I love that you guys get super creative. Um, and you guys, if you want to do more of that, Wacky Wednesday. And then, of course, like you said, you got the Monday stuff. You got the Friday stuff. Always fun stuff going on on your server like all the time during the week pretty much aside from you know the two yeah. days that you're off but yeah there's actually one other thing i forgot to mention that we do that's kind of unique and cool and that's just the first monday of every month we have started doing a no mortars monday for the first half which we're we usually do this on mondays for about four hours ish like average um from about 8 p.m eastern to midnight uh, and sometimes it's gone longer, sometimes shorter. But for the first couple hours, we'll do no mortars on the first Monday of each month. But the second half of the night, we'll do mini mayhem, which is our baby account. Some Several people have second accounts, uh, secondary accounts. I know you do. Yes, I do. So, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So we do all our baby accounts and just see where we're at in that way and do just a Monday mayhem. Uh, mixed evenly as possible. And it's really interesting to just have that feel see everybody's play styles but a totally different hanger yeah you know i as much as like we and myself included like as we hear about the new stuff the game is doing some of this stuff is very negative to a lot of us but i love what you guys do and that you just say like forget all that it's fun let's all get together and just do something creative fun with what we have as the game and that's a big thing exactly. and, and something that i think you know everyone can get around so if you guys yes. have not checked out the server uh, I know Miss Treble, little Miss Treble, sorry, uh, has put it in there. Yeah, she put it in the in chat. It is also in the description. Um, and if you guys know me on Discord, if you ever say like, hey, Escape, I didn't get the link or I want it, you know, you can also reach out to me or Maria, of course. I mean, we'll, we'll be willing to give it to everybody. Everyone is welcome. So definitely come and join in mm -hmm. on some of the fun. So uh, we're going to call it for tonight, though. But Maria, thank you so much for joining us and, and sharing this with us. It's been a lot of fun. Very cool stuff. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Uh, Miss Trouble, is there anything that I missed or, or should say or, you know, important? Am I missing? 
Yes. Thank you guys so much for 30k subscribers. Oh my gosh, yes. I know. I didn't I didn't officially say it. I know we made a post on it before, but yeah, it is crazy to to be, you know, involved in this in that way with you guys. And obviously it wouldn't be possible without all of you. So it's so good. Congratulations on that. <laughs> thanks. Thanks so much. Man, it's really crazy. But I love being a part of it. I love being part of the community and doing fun stuff like this. So I hope you guys enjoy it too. And uh, yeah, again, Maria, thanks for being with us. And everybody, thanks for joining us as you always do. Uh, and I hope you all had fun. I hope you have a good good night. Definitely check out all their giveaways. Definitely check out the Monday Mayhem server. And as we always say, we'll see you out there on the battlefield. Bye, everybody. <laughs>